Renew Northwest is a registered charity which is set up to provide uh, work experience and skills development uh, and employment for people coming from long-term unemployment. Uh, and those people may be people who are coming from offending backgrounds or people coming from addiction or from homelessness or, or just from a, a life where they've, not, they've been out of work for a long period of time, they've not had opportunities to get employment. And so Renewal Northwest is a, is a charity set up to help them make those connections, to get into work, but then also is a charity that's set up to help and provide uh, low cost household items to people in Stockport. Um, and then in addition, the other object that Renewal Northwest has is the furtherance of the Christian faith and to disciple people in living for the Lord Jesus, for his glory. And so those are the, the three main sort of areas that we're, we're working in. Basically, I uh, had a bit of a rough upbringing, grew up on a council estate um, and then went off on the wrong path. Drugs, drink, um, got involved with the wrong crowd. After leaving school, I started taking drugs and progressed very quickly from class, a, uh, class B, class C, right through to heroin. Uh, eventually ended up addicted to heroin for 25 years. From day when I was born, that criminal element was always around me. I ended up in addiction myself, uh, taking all sorts of drugs. I ended up in, injecting, in and out of prison through my adult life. Well, I come from the same background as Scott, really, drug addiction. I was a heroin addict for 20 years. I was bound some bank counters. I was been in and out of jail most of my adult life. And uh, I had no peace. No peace whatsoever. I could I could sit in, in a house and have to do an armed robbery somewhere and you have loads of money and pockets full of drugs and your life and soul in the party. But see when everybody was gone, I used to curl up on the sofa and cry my eyes out. That first step out the prison gate, what the system tends to do is throw you in a hostel, but you, they're throwing you straight back into the circle of where you've just come from. So what kind of chance are you gonna have we need more organisations like Renewal, you know, where they bridge that gap. When, when I came to the Wesley's basement, that's, that's where the programme first started. I didn't just need a roof over my head. You know, I could get that anywhere, a hostel or whatever else. I needed to be loved, I needed to be cared for. They open the whole family and they bring you up and you sit and you have a meal. And so I was loved and cared for. That's what, you know, broken creatures like us that come need. It's all to the glory of God, really. Um, I gave my life to the Lord 18 months ago. Um, come off the drugs, come off the drink. It's made a massive, massive impact in my life, um, which I'm so grateful for. I'm grateful for the Lord for and obviously grateful for renewal and obviously Wes and that so yeah. So I'm now five years married. I live in Kent. I have a full-time job, a beautiful wife, and we have a I go to a great church where I'm involved in the Sunday school. So this guy who was selling drugs on street corners is now teaching young children about Jesus. One of Bobby's responsibilities is to actually bank the money at the bank, and that's transformation, isn't it? Someone who used to rob banks is now banking the money. Supporting these guys when they come out, we're seeing lives changed, and lives then which are being lived to serve God for his glory. That is what it's for, for, for me, is looking at these individuals, and they come in broken, just downcast, not given a chance, and they get given a chance here, and they grow. I've been, been here five months. Um, I've a full-time job. You know, I've met new friends. It's a new family. I just, I just want to say thank you for what Renewal's done for me. You know, it's not for me. It's not for Wesley. It's not for Alison. It's for God. That's who we do it for. To help people in the community who are on benefits, who are homeless, 
They will come from addiction, you come from prison. You're providing a service here as well, you know, for the people in need. We know everyone needs Jesus firstly, but people need shoes, people need a settee. <laughs> and, and we know supplies that. You can be walking around and somebody's talking about what Jesus is doing in their life today. What he did for this lady over here last week. There's a, a whole melting pot of different people here. But they, they have this place and most of them have Jesus in common. And that, that's kind of what makes it special. God love just flows, flows through the place. You come from somewhere where you don't feel accepted and uh, you feel low and you feel down and out and you're not worthy and you come into renewal and it's just like, poof, it's just there in your face, you know, to finally say that I've got my life sorted and that I'm in the process of doing it. It feels great and that's the best way I can describe being on the programme. <laughs>